to the BoardVitals.com Psychiatry Question Bank. Here is our homepage where you can click on one of our three subscription options to subscribe. Then you click in the top right hand corner to log in. This is our login page where you use your email address and password that you created to log in. Once you have logged in, you will be brought to the exam homepage where you can select practice test to create a test using any number of questions separated by subjects, categories, or other options as we'll show you in the next screen. You can also choose mock exam, which uses random questions from the question bank and you can't see your answers until you have completed the exam. For the purpose of this video, we selected practice test, which brings you to this screen. Here you can choose your test mode which allows you to choose either practice mode where you can see the answers immediately after choosing your answer or test mode which is timed and does not show you the answers until you have completed the test. You can further customize your test by choosing to either resume a previous test that you have started, choosing to use randomized questions from the entire question bank, or choosing to separate the questions by subjects, topics, or even by searching a keyword. For this video, we have selected to create our exam based on subjects and topics of our choosing. As you can see here, you can also choose to use previously non-used questions, previously incorrectly answered questions, or you can choose to use all questions randomized from the question bank. Then you can select your subjects and topics, and this will calculate the number of questions available based on your choices. Here you can see the continuation of the list of subjects and topics. At the bottom of this list, you can see the Calculate button, which tells you how many questions are available based on your choices. Here is a sample question in our database. You can see this uses the FRED interface, which is the same interface you may have used in the USMLE Step 1, 2, and 3 exams. Here you can also use the same functions, including flagging a question to save it for later review, highlighting, crossing out, writing yourself notes, using the calculator, and scrolling along the sidebar to see questions that you have answered, not answered, or flagged for review. When you click to see the answer and explanation to your question, you will see not only the extensive explanation to the question that you have just answered, but also advanced question statistics, showing you what percentage of users got this question correctly or incorrectly, and which percentage of users selected which options, A, B, C, D, and E. At the end of your exam, you will see this page. This page breaks down your results by score, percentage, time spent on the exam, and the average number of seconds spent per question. It also shows you both your score and percentage by each subject and topic taken during that exam. You will also see a list of each question you took, which were correctly or incorrectly answered, and you can click to review any questions you choose. At the end of the exam, or at any time, you can click on the My Results button. This will bring you to a list of all your prior exams, within which you can see every question that you have taken and review any that you choose. You can also click on strengths and weaknesses to see your strengths and weaknesses based on topics and subjects. You can also see your progress from the beginning when you started using the question bank till the current time. You can also click to compare yourself to other users. Thank you for viewing our demo video. If you have any remaining questions, please feel free to email us at info at boardvitals.com. Thank you.